Hello everyone, this is Heather with Stealing Hearts Homestead again. Today's video is gonna be about how much land do you need to homestead? Can you do it on less than an acre? Can you do it on one third of an acre? Um, right now what I have is one third of an acre. Like I mentioned, I am in the middle of a subdivision. You can see some of the other houses here behind me and around me. Uh, so I have a house right next door. And then if we flip around this way, I have a house back there, which you can't really see because of the sun. I have some other houses that are behind me with their RV. Um, so, so what I have here on my homestead is I have several chickens and I have a couple of pigs. I also have my meat rabbits, which right now are in the house because they're only about two months old and I don't want to expose them to the weather. Um, so we're just gonna take a tour around my homestead and I hope you like what you see. All right, so we're just gonna start in the back corner of my lot. We'll swing around here and you can see kind of how I have my yard set up. Um, see so the chicken coop, it's got a tarp that's falling down. Um, I had a tarp on top of it, so that way the rain would stay out. I ended up putting some wood on top, which keeps rain out a lot better. Um, over here, at one point I had a fence uh, with these T-posts that went around the outside of my chicken coop. As you can see, it was definitely a failed experiment. The puppy has completely knocked it over to the point where you can just climb over it. Uh, the chickens are no longer allowed to free range, so it doesn't really make that big of a deal. I'll end up using the T-post for something else down the road. Um, and this is an enclosure that I built and attached it to my chicken coop. I got the chicken coop for free from animal control when I was working there, uh, along with some chickens. Uh, those chickens have since went to a friend of mine. And now I'm left with these lovely ladies that I picked up at Tractor Supply when they were just chicks. They're in there pecking the ground. <laughs> and they have this big area as well as their chicken coop. I did make the mistake when I was starting out and did chicken wire, as you can see here. Um, and then I added this afterwards. Um, I ended up fostering a 12 pound little dog and she broke in to my chicken coop and massacred a bunch of my chickens. So don't be like me, don't go the cheap route. I know you probably heard a bunch of people say it before, don't do it. There's a heat lamp in there which I don't use, uh, but I've been too lazy to take it out. <laughs> So the chickens are set up, they have a couple of bars, and this is where they roost at night. And then I have my door right here, which swings open so that way I can get in and out if I need to, to fill their water and their food. Over here is my pig pen. It is absolutely nothing fancy. Um, it's just some pellets and some T-posts. I would slam the T-posts into the ground and then put the pellets on. Uh, you can do it the other way, you can set the pallets up and put the T-posts in, depending on your height of your T-posts, it's not going to make too big of a difference. Um, but when you have these smaller ones, then you start hitting the pallet and it just becomes a pain. So in here I have my two piglets. They are about two months old. Wild and crazy. Always looking for food. <laughs> they are rambunctious little guys. It's ham and bacon. They've completely destroyed their little house that I made them. Right now they're kind of too big to go in there, both of them anyways. Um, I made it so that way they'd have some place to get away from the weather. We don't really have a lot of weather here in Arizona, but when it does rain, it pours. So they got lots of hay in here with them, which they do eat as well as sleep in to keep warm. And that's basically what's going on on my property here. Um, if you watched my other video. So as you guys can see, I still have quite a large area of my property that I can still use. And I'm only on one third of an acre. And I have space for my chickens. I have space for my pigs. Um, eventually, I'm probably going to move the meat rabbits out here. Um, but I don't want to do that until the weather gets a little bit better. It's getting kind of cold here at night and during the day. Um, so that's something that I'm going to look into. I'm going to be building them a large enclosure, something I have never done before, <laughs> but I plan on doing that and making it secure so that way the puppy cannot get into it. 
She really loves the pegs. As you can see, she's actually dug a couple of holes under so that she can get in there and try to steal their treats. Um, <laughs> so she's really good with my pigs, but she's not so good with small animals and we're working on that. Um, but like I was saying, I still have a lot of space left and I don't have a garden right now. That is something that I'm looking at doing. I'm trying not to invest a whole lot of money into the property um, just because I do plan on buying some acres and building my homestead from scratch like you would have heard in my previous video, my introduction video. So I'm trying not to spend a whole lot of money here. Uh, the goal here is to get the property looking nice so that way I can rent it out. So that does put kind of a limitation on the amount of animals that I can bring in. Plus being in a neighborhood, I really have to be cognizant of the amount of noise the animals that I bring in are going to make. My chickens, I do not have a rooster for that particular reason. So if I want to have any chicks, if any of my hens get broody again, I go and purchase fertilized eggs for them to hatch. Um, <laughs> there go the animals. Um, so for that reason, like I said, I don't have a rooster because I don't want my neighbors to get upset. I am in such close proximity to my neighbors that noise is a big thing here. I'm trying to be as courteous as possible and still reach my dreams. Um, my two pigs, they really don't make a lot of noise. They don't take up a lot of space. And since there really isn't a neighbor straight behind me, um, there's nobody here, you know, the flies and things like that don't really bother anyone. Um, I don't really have a lot of flies. When we were over there looking at them, you probably saw there wasn't a whole lot flying around. There have been some bees that have come around the past couple of days, but otherwise we're doing pretty good. Um, so like I said, there's a ton of space still left here. If you had kids or, you know, playground or things like that, you could still work all of that in while having and raising animals for your family. Um, so don't think just because you have a small plot of land that homesteading is completely impossible for you. You can make it work. Where there is a will, there is a way. And you just kind of have to take a look at your land and plan everything out. My chickens have way more space than I need. Um, if I do meet my rabbits or... If I do meat chickens again, um, I will end up building them a closure, something really small because they really don't take up a lot of space and they don't fly. Um, I'll build them something over there so that way they can grow out and reach their weight uh, for me to be able to butcher them. And then there's really not a whole lot of other animals that I think I can bring in here just because of the noise aspect. I don't want to bring sheep or cows or anything like that because they're going to be really, really noisy. Um, if you've seen my previous video, you have seen or heard that my city does allow me to have up to one head of cattle. I do not plan on having one head of cattle because while I probably have enough space just to raise up one head of cattle and butcher it, I don't have the, the noise, the noise would just be too much. Um, so that is something that I want to do when I get to my new homestead, whenever that is going to be. Hopefully in six months to a year, I will find the perfect property for myself to buy. Um, and then I plan on getting something like, you know, a goat for milk or perhaps a, uh, a cow for milk. Um, things like that are things I'm going to be looking into. I definitely would love to raise goats or sheep for meat. Um, so those are all things that I do plan on doing down the line, just not here at this current property. Um, I think that those types of animals would be just too noisy for the neighbors. But I hope this gives you an idea of what you can do on your small plot of land. And I hope that you will like and subscribe down below. Thank you.